Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest V. Alright, uh, let's head into Coburg. Uh, incidentally, right around Coburg, the enemies are still the same, so slime knights and uh, stuff like that. Uh, if you go a little bit further away, like uh, outside of that those hills, uh, you do have new enemies. So, you know, fair warning. <laughs> we'll, I'll show them off after this. Let's talk to some people. Did it, it just put Nameless and Ellie in my party by uh, default. Interesting. I know about Coburg. Coburg and Gotha have always been good friends, haven't they? I don't know about always. I mean, maybe since I became king. For a day. You and Prince Harry used to travel about together, didn't you? I wish I could have come along with you. My Majesty, you feel only the nostalgia now you return to Coburg, see? But for your uncle Sancho, is is. Welcome to Coburg. She's pretty clever for a little girl being able to introduce a place like that. I I mean I I guess. Um, Sancho always said he doesn't much fancy the idea of visiting Coburg. This is the one castle we didn't visit when we were traveling around with him. What a grand-looking castle! But the people live outside the castle walls. Do you think that's safe? Seems to be working okay for them. You've probably heard all about me. I'm the one who helped Prince Harry oust that fake dowager. What? The one who did it was actually the Prince of Gotha? He went missing at just about the same time he was crowned, didn't he? We had soldiers here from Gotha on a search party looking for him, see? Come to think of it, you look quite a lot like the fellow in question. How would you know? Someone is totally... This guy is totally trying to take my... Uh, take credit for my exploits. When you go missing, friend, I heard Senor Harry. He was uh, so worried. You should go to a say buenos dias to the Senor, my majesty. You don't think we've got any impostors with us, do you? You're the real thing, aren't you, Dad? Mm, of, of course I am, you delicious little... I mean, um, son? I know he's loco, but for me... Being in Coburg is uh, so hard. My heart is uh, breaking, you know? Such a big softy, uh, Sancho. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Uh, looks like all the same stuff. Okay. What do we have in here? Anything new? Nope. I could get another fur hood for Ellie. Or a shelmet for Kijigun. I imagine that the old men of the sea, uh, when you recruit them, can wear that. <laughs> Since it looks like they're wearing them already. You're probably not going to have anything to say. Rumor has it that there's an incredible treasure hidden in a cave surrounded by mountains far to the west. It's supposed to be something really special, but the surroundings are crawling with monsters. I'd keep away from the place if I were you. I'm trying to think about what that might be. I mean, that could be the place that we, uh... You know, where Pancras died. This is Coburg Castle. Wait a minute, you're that friend of Prince Harry's. It's all, isn't it? Go on through! You are no just a friend. You are the savior of this country. But this is soldier. He no, he no know it, eh? Wow, you're famous, Dad. That's so cool. Yep. Of course I'm famous. I mean, number one, I'm a king. <laughs> and I am friend to, uh, you know, the prince of this land. Uh, you both say go on through. Hello? I'm finding it nigh on impossible to relax at the moment. I can't shake this feeling that a huge and powerful evil force has begun to strengthen its grip on our world. Uh, but it could also just be the, the bad cheese I ate last night. It was a little moldy. 
I'm really scared too. Maybe my bad dreams will come true and I'll get gobbled up. Eh, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll go up here first. Still empty. Oh, which I know I'd end up with a bump on my head. Prince Kendrick will be the death of me one of these days. Prince Kendrick? What? You must be a careful. You no go too close to these Kendrick, okay? What is that supposed to mean, Sancho? Wow, I've not seen a bump that big in ages. King Wilbur, Wilbur has vowed not to get married. That way, he hopes to prevent another power struggle like the last one. I mean, I suppose that's one way, but that's also a good way to uh, end the family dynasty. Which would then mean that there's another power struggle as people try to uh, um, gain control. I suppose that means the next king of Coburg will be Prince Harry's young lad, Kendrick. Why would getting married cause a power struggle? Is marriage a bad thing? Yes, son, it is. Hmm, I don't get what grown-ups are uh, on about sometimes. Jeez, what happened with the fake Senora Queen? It had a big effect on Senor Wilbur. He is young, but he is a very careful man. You're just asleep. And we're not going to say anything about him. Alright, that's fine. Before we go up... Hello! I'm in love with Prince Kendrick. He's really nice. Maybe he's only nice to girls. That's weird. It's not exactly weird. I wouldn't mind being friends with him if he was nice to me, too. Well, um, El Ellie, Ellie, let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second. Get out of here. Get, little girl, I'm trying to have a talk with my daughter. Ellie, look, if he's just nice to you and he's not nice to other people, he's not worth having a friend, as a friend. Just letting you know. Prince Harry is at the end of his tether with all of little Prince Kendrick's antics. How come you look so happy, Dad? Are you finding it funny that Harry's son is causing him trouble? Actually, yeah, I, I am. The children, they learn from their madre and their papa, you know. Ah! You gave me a bit of a fright there. I, I thought it was Prince Kendrick, you see. His latest trick is putting mice on people's heads because he knows everyone hates them. Not very nice at all. I say, maybe I'll give that a try sometime. Mm, uh, I, I mean, nothing, never mind. But mice are so cute. Why would anyone say they hate them? Well, Ellie, I don't know. I mean, I do find them cute, but I definitely would not want them in the uh, house. That is for sure. Alright. Nothing around there. We could go in the other way, but uh, I believe we'll be doing that later. These are Darwin the Psarologist's quarters. These are scholars and fortune tellers. They are all the same. They talk and they talk and they talk. See? Anda! What a funny name he has. He sounds very clever. Hello? My research tells me that somewhere in the world there still exists a cape that was worn long ago by a brave king in battle. When a special person uses special armor like that, it enables him to achieve their true potential. I heard the news about you becoming king of Gothaald. I'm sure you'd have what it takes to make good use of the cape if you find it. I'm going to find it. Yep, I'll find that cape and then give it give it to you as a present. I don't know about that. Alright, nothing around here. We'll come and talk to you in a moment, Wilbur. What? What is that? Well, looks like we're going to have to make an excursion out there in a moment. Arg, I've had about as much of Prince Kendrick's mischief as I can take. The goddess only knows what kind of a king that little rascal will make. The word keeps me awake at night. 
You know, I heard the rumors that this Kendrick, he is a little Diablo, just like his father, Senor Harry, was when he was young. I'm always good, so no one would have to worry if I became king. I don't like rough boys. They pick up insects and things and throw them at you. It's disgusting. That is pretty disgusting. Well, you do have a sword. I guess it's under your cape there, Ellie. You can just smack them. Not, not, not like stab them. You know, just leave it in the, the sheath and, and smack them. That's fine. Yeah, that'll serve him right. Hello. Welcome to Coburg, ruled over by His Majesty King Wilbur. Come, friend, look at me. See, see. Okay. Now you have a no hair in the wrong place in your clothes. I checked they are ironed, okay? It's okay for you to uh, say hola to the king now. You know, I believe it so strongly that Senor Harry, he gonna become king. But then he's no greedy, eh? He is like you in this way. See, his friend? Those ones are really soft and comfortable. Bertie used to let us sit on, on his every now and then. Oh, it's you! Ald! Or should I say King Ald? I was terribly worried when I heard you'd disappear, King Ald. King Ald? It was such a relief to hear you'd return to Gotha safe and sound. I hoped you'd be paying a visit here in Coburg again before long. Do make yourself at home, won't you? Oh, well, alright. Um. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit hard to do since I've been a statue for eight years and I don't remember how to do that. Sorry. Is that King Wilbur? He's a lot younger than I expected. He's younger than me. See, I forget. Senor Wilbur, he... He ascendes congratulations for your return to Gotha. I must send a letter to thank him when we are next home. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> do, do, do. Let's go upstairs first. <laughs> nope. No one out here. All right. That is fine. These are the quarters of Prince Harry and his wife. Uninvited guests are... Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't recognize you for a minute. Do go on through. Wait, so you're saying we're uninvited? I, I've never beaten that game. Hey, who are you? Kendrick, you mustn't address guests like that. That's okay. Kitty! What? You're not going to say anything about the kitty? What do you want? I was trying to talk to your mother. That kid just doesn't know when to shut up, does he? Well, I mean, it's not his fault. I'm, I'm not trying to talk to him. You know, Nameless and Ellie, they never talk to me like that. Never. I got plenty of animal and bird friends. I don't need any more, least of all him. Wow. Just, like, talk to him once and just ripping into him. I do beg your pardon. I'm afraid my son's manners are a bit like... Oh! Good heavens! It's you all! Oh, for a second there, I thought you were going to say Miss Sakamoto. I've been hoping you'd pay a visit. I can't tell you how thrilled we were to hear you turned up in Gotha in one piece. You did have a rotten bit of luck there, eh? In fact, you've always seemed to be a bit jinxed, come to think of it. So I think that's why uh, all... Well, the the hero... Well, not the hero hero, but the main character in the original game never got any luck. It kind of makes sense. Unfortunately, luck governs critical hits. Still, it's great to see you here again, safe and well. Oh, yes, I'm a father now, by the way. I, I notice. Uh, he, he looks um, a lot like you as a kid. This is my son, Kendrick. Buck up, Kendrick. Greet all properly and don't be so rude. Ouch! I'm um, pleased to meet you. Sorry about him. He's a bit of a cheeky one at times. You've got children too now, too, haven't you? Ah, I see you are traveling with them as a family. Yes, yes. Here are my children, nameless Ellie, and my lovely bride, Sancho. Yes, I can see the resemblance to how you looked at that age. Uh, how? I had black hair and wore a turban. I know, why don't you children play together for a while? Kendrick can show you around. 
Kendrick, why don't you be a good host and give your best guided tour of the castle? I suppose I could. That's good. Now we'll have a bit of peace and quiet for a while. Listen to you. I, you know you adore that boy, really. <laughs> You've got me there, Maria. I don't know who Kendrick takes after sometimes, though. I'm sure I wasn't such a troublemaker when I was his age. <laughs> um, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, Harry. I, I'm, go, do go on. Do go on. I hope these kids... He, he is to make it nameless cry. Wouldn't Nameless be older? Quay, he no remember? If he's no making so much trouble when he was young, Senor Pancras, he would no have to look after him and... and... <laughs> Way to go breaking down like that. Nameless and these kid Kendrick, they are so different. Uh, no, he is nothing. Pardon. So, so we have no opportunity to say, uh, hello? Don't you remember getting my dad killed? It sounds like your travels are just as trying as ever, Ald. I'm sure you'll be able to guide the world in the right direction towards peace, though. Yes. Yes, by stabbing everyone with my overpowered sword. Next to you, Prince Harry and his wife are living happy and peaceful lives. I'll never forget the good day, the good you did here. You know, I think this Kendrick, he's bullying my nameless and Ellie, eh? Um, uh, your, your nameless and Ellie? Excuse me? Children, they is so, they are so quick. This is the problem. Oof, where are they? I was terribly worried when I heard you disappeared, King Old. Uh, it's the same thing. Okie dokie. Well, let's go see what they're what they're off to. Dad, Dad, Kendrick's gone missing. Oh my God! He told us to go and get some kind of lackey's badge, and then he disappeared while we were looking in the treasure chest. Can you come and help us find him? I think I know exactly where he has gone off to. I told him I didn't want to be his lackey, but he said I'd, he'd start crying if I didn't go and get the badge. I don't know where he could have disappeared to. Kendrick's such a spoiled little brat. I don't like him one bit. It's because Senor Pancras, he went to look for this Prince Harry. It's because of this that he, he... Oh, Sancho. Well, first of all... Oh. Ald examines the treasure chest. But the chest is empty. Yep. Well, we know where he has gone to. Ald moves the chair aside and searches underneath it. There's a secret staircase leading down! Hey, what a weird place for a flight of stairs! You're amazing, Dad! Fancy knowing where they they were there! Have I not told you the story yet? <laughs> huh, you found the stairs already! That was no fun! I'll bet you didn't find the lackey's badge, though. That means you can't be my lackey. Hmm? Prince Kendrick, I do hope you're not causing trouble down here again. What's your problem? I'm not doing anything wrong. Ah, uh, yep. Almost uh, thought it was going to be the exact same thing happening, huh? Your father will be most displeased when he hears about this. Now, come along. Yeah, I don't want a spanking. There's no way I'd ever become his lackey. I suppose I might just, just about consider being his friend, but that's it. What's wrong, Dad? You look a bit shocked and you've gone all sweaty. I just thought something else was going to happen. I know, let's make a secret staircase and go with it too. That'd be fun. I don't know about that. Ah, <laughs> just... Just being here in this castle, it makes me so tired. Maybe I should be Kendrick's friend. I don't like him all that much, though. Maybe Kendrick doesn't have many friends. 
I haven't seen any other boys inside the castle. Well, that could be. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go see if... Harry has anything to say about the whole lackey badge thing. Oh, Harry! Sorry, Kendrick caused you a bit of a bother there, Ald. You can find me here all the time, by the way, so do drop, drop in whenever you're passing. And do try not to go missing again, eh? I oh, yeah, sorry, Eve. I always complain, but it's hard for me to stay here so long, you know? Are you going to come here again, then? Maybe I'll stay at, stay at home in Gotha when you do. It's Kendrick you should worry about going, going missing, right, Dad? Uh, not you, right, Dad? I don't know. I, I have certainly uh, shown that, that I have a habit for that. And Maria doesn't have anything new to say. You don't need to worry about a thing, Dad. We'll always be along to help you out. Is it really such a difficult journey, Dad? It's not difficult for me. As long as you're with me, everything's fine. Sorry about before. Dad said I had to apologize, so I decided to give you this. Ald receives Hermes hat. Ald places a Hermes hat in the bag. Make sure you put it to good use, won't you? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hermes hat. A hardy hat that can also serve as a handy alternative to a chimera wing. Interesting. Uh, Kijigun can wear it. And so can Ellie. That means that Ellie is going to get it. Yep, we'll go ahead and equip it. Okay. I will take that. Alright, I don't think there's anything else to do inside the castle. We do have the one thing to do outside of the castle. This was essentially a side quest. Getting that Hermes hat. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Oh, hello. Strike a light, you wouldn't found me. Well, that don't mean you're getting the treasure on Ab. You say that, merry man. Are you related to Robin Hood? Uh, let's see, you've got Kabuff and Snooze. What do I have right now? Nothing. Actually, you know what? Nah. Attack. Attack. Uh, you've got Fizzle. Prevents enemy from using magic. We will try that. And we'll try Dazzle. He is not affected. And he casts Snooze. Well. Alright, Ellie. You're, you're helping me out here. Ow! Well, Ellie is deflecting that. That's pretty nice. Nameless is awake. There we go. The Merry Man is defeated. He is no longer a Merry Man. I am not a Merry Man. Each party member receives 750 experience points. Nameless's level increases to 8. 11 hit points. 4 MP. Uh, 3 strength. 1 agility, resilience, and luck. 0 wisdom. Uh, learns a new spell, Kabuff. That's pretty nice. Ellie's level increases to 8. Uh, 7 hit points, 1 MP. 1 MP, really? Ellie's attributes improve. 2 strength, 4 agility and luck, 3 resilience, 0 wisdom. Holy cow, Ellie is getting, like, all of the luck. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Tuppence's level increases to 7. 6 hit points. One agility, one wisdom, zero strength, resilience, and luck. Tuppence's level ups are pretty awful. 
150 gold coins. Uh, the merry man drops a treasure chest. Oh, it opens the chest. It contains a mini medal. Nobody obtains the mini medal. <laughs> I'll get you for this one of these days. Mm, you really won't, though. All right, what do we have in here? Ald examines the treasure chest. What a suit of Hella's armor! Ald acquires a suit of Hella's armor. Is that any good? Fire and ice based attacks. Sancho can be equipped with it. I think it might technically be cursed. But it would be a lot better. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah, he's cursed. Well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's pretty good defense. Worst case scenario is I just have to lift the curse. Go ahead and get some uh, rest there. Alright. Uh, where do we want to zoom to next? Kind of thinking of a place that's fairly small. Um, before we do that... It's a really big castle, isn't it? You think they, that the townspeople live inside like we do in Gotha? It's not really necessary. I mean, it might be a good idea to put a wall around the town. And you're saying the same thing. And you're saying the same thing. Alright. Let's go ahead and zoom. Uh, I'm actually going to zoom to Wheelbrook real fast. Because there is this uh, little port down here that we can uh, go visit. Fun Ghoul and Drackey, easy enough to take care of. Ellie is pretty quick on the draw. That is really nice. Admittedly, I do have Sancho in the party, which uh, probably is not an accurate portrayal of uh, speediness. Um, also, the uh, the ship is no longer right outside um, Coburg in that little uh, pool, pond, anymore. Uh, it's now in the lake to the south, so you can get to the outside uh, ocean from there. Do boats come here? Have you been on one, Dad? That's so cool. I want to go on a boat. Take me on a boat. I already took you on a boat. The sea is such a pretty color, and look at how the waves rock up and down. Isa so near to Wheelbrook here. It's a place with very painful memories for me. Hey, haven't we met somewhere before? M my poor hu husband was gobbled up by a monster, you know. What a t terrible state the world's in now. You look nice and strong. Maybe you could round up all the nasty monsters and kill them all. I'm be begging you. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Not all monsters are bad. People don't realize that. But it is a shame for that woman. Prince Albert always said it's important to help a person who's in distress. Maybe it'll help... Maybe it'll be a help to that woman if we defeat Nimzo. We have to at least try, Dad. Oof. It's so sad. You must do something, my majesty. You, you must return the peace to the to world. Or whatever that word order was. Well... I was not expecting that at all. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and zoom. I think we will zoom to Heavens Above. We should be able to uh, knock out talking to everyone there pretty quick. Sancho says I look just like you when you were younger. Do you think so? No, not really. I, I thank you for taking me with you on your quest this time. Your Uncle Sancho, he gonna earn his garbanzos. That's the same thing. Pretty sure we've heard that one already. Alright. 
Interesting that we're getting some of the same comments. Uh, being here makes me feel all sleepy for some reason. This place is an abbey, isn't it? I know these things. Kitty! The cat is enjoying prancing about the place. What a cute cat. Can I stroke it? Sure. You see, the abbey where you arrived in... And the sisters, they, they look after you so well, friend. Well, if your uncle Sancho, he is no prepared for these. I know bring a present for them. Are there only women living in this place? That's weird. Welcome to Heavens Above Abbey, a holy place of worship for women of the goddess. Heavens Above, you're... Yes, I couldn't forget those kind eyes you have. So unlike my late husband, the goddess rest his soul. If I remember rightly, you were traveling in search of your long-lost mother, weren't you? What? Now you've lost your wife as well? I see. She's been turned to stone. How terrible for you. Well, we shall all pray for you and th that you find bo them both unscathed. I am uh, so sorry, friend. Ever since you were born, you have uh, so much suffering. Well, not, sin not ever since I was born. Uh, well, actually, technically, yeah, because my mother was kidnapped, but I didn't really know her. Do you think Mum would come back if we said a prayer for her? I hate praying, but I'd give it a go if it would bring her back. I'm pretty sure we need to actually do something for her to come back. I hope I get to see Mum soon. Yeah, I mean, you've never actually seen her before. <laughs> Have you even seen a picture of her? Alright, nothing in there. We make all of our own clothes and grow our own food here at the Abbey, you see? So we're used to making things for ourselves. I can cook. Well, I can boil an egg anyway. Not, not everyone can do that, so... Definitely counts as cooking. <laughs> it happened for Maria. A dashing young prince on a dazzling white horse came to marry her and whisk her off into the sunset. You're still talking about this? Dear goddess, when will my prince come? Oops, I drifted off again. Mom will be so angry if she catches me daydreaming again. On with the cleaning, on with the cleaning. I prefer black horses myself. I like Dusty, though, obviously. She's been a big help. Why will her mom get angry? Do you think my mom will get angry with me? Yes, probably. At some point. Don't worry about it, though. A rumor has reached, it, reached me that there is a gateway to the realm of the fairies in a forest east of town, east of a town called Mastro Ferrato. If such a fantastic world really existed, I should certainly like to see it for myself. Ooh, hello. Realm of the fairies, that sounds much more interesting than this place. Hey, hey now. I mean, look at the architecture around here. Appreciate that. This room is set aside for when we receive important lady guests. We've had young ladies from some of the richest families in the world staying with us here, you know. You won't make Ellie come here, come and stay here, will you, Dad? You'd be lonely if she went away. Well, it's good that our, uh, our children are getting along. Not exactly the most common thing in my personal experience. This is the visitor's lodgings. It's rather cramped, but you would... But would you like to rest for a while? That's nah, okay. We value every guest we have here at the Abbey extremely highly. I do hope we'll make your acquaintance again. I'm a bit nervous staying the night here among all these women. What if I wet the bed? Um... I... I, I, I don't think they, they care or, I mean, like, hold it against you? <laughs> anyway, that's about it here. Nope, wrong thing. What do you think? Oh, you're uh, saying the same thing. I. It's kind of weird that they're saying the same things again. We have anything uh, interesting to fight here? Uh, looks like s the. <laughs> Well, I think that's a great time to end the episode. <laughs> that's just perfect. 
Oh, see you next time, everyone.